Welcome back to another Premier League predictions video. This is for week 33 of the Premier League and there's been some big news this week. Obviously we heard about plans of the European Super League being pushed forward and actually everything was signed and it was ready to go ahead but it collapsed. A lot of people were outraged about this uh, for a lot of reasons. I think that the European Super League wasn't a good idea because it would basically just become like any other league. With leagues in general, teams don't play well every single week because players get injuries, teams get out of form, and you know players get tired. So they're not going to show up every single week and play at their absolute best. And I think that was the whole point of the Super League, that they wanted games to be of higher quality every single week. But that's just not possible. It's a, it's a goal that will never be achieved because of all those factors. And on top of that, you know, I think the reason why all these teams pulled out is because, um, well, there's a lot of backlash because of it. Um, but I'm not really too sure why these owners didn't expect that. I thought the whole reason why they were pushing it forward was because they expected all this backlash. But I'm guessing... They didn't expect this much backlash, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, but anyway, uh, those are my thoughts on that. The first game up is Arsenal and Everton. This is a big game for both sides. I do think that either side could still make the top four. It is still possible. Uh, the teams around them uh, aren't particularly playing well. So there is a chance to do this. Last week, Everton drew away at Tottenham. So it wasn't a great result. Um, they did score goals, but they also conceded as well. And with Arsenal, they drew away at Fulham. Actually, no, I think they drew at home, actually, yeah, which is even worse. Um, they, didn't, they didn't play particularly well. They could have lost the game, but they managed to grab a last-minute equaliser. Neither side is in great form. Everton have obviously they've won once in the last five. And Arsenal have won two in the last five, so both sides are struggling. But I think it'll be a close game. Either side could win it. I think it'll be a 2-2 draw. Next game up is Liverpool and Newcastle. This will be a 3-1 win to Liverpool. I don't think Liverpool played well last week against Leeds, but they managed to get a point. And Newcastle managed to get all three points against West Ham, which I thought they played well in the first half, but they crumbled absolutely catastrophically in the second half. They conceded two goals to West Ham, who had 10 men, which is pretty awful. Uh, you shouldn't be doing that, but it happened. And I think in this game, Liverpool will be too much for Newcastle. Next game up is West Ham and Chelsea. This will be a 2-2 draw. I think that neither side is in the best of form again. And I actually did watch a lot of football this week just to try and see which teams were in form and who was playing well. But I wasn't impressed by any of the sides in the Premier League because a lot of them look really tight and they're not really playing that well. I think it is a long season, so that can be excused. But either way, a lot of sides are struggling at the moment. You know, obviously, Chelsea drew to Brighton in the last game, which was surprising. I thought they'd win 3-0 especially at Stamford Bridge, but it didn't happen. And obviously West Ham lost to Newcastle, which I think they should have won that game. Obviously they went down to 10 men, and they came back to draw it before losing it. But, you know, I still think that they should have done better. Obviously defensively, they haven't been, you know, that solid at the back. They've been conceding a lot of goals. However, I do think this will be a draw. Next game up is Sheffield and Brighton. This will be a 1-0 win to Brighton. Surely Brighton can beat the worst team in the Premier League, but I don't think this is guaranteed because Brighton have been really awful this season. Like, I think they started well, which they normally do, but they look terrible at the moment. They're not really creating a lot of chances. It might be due to their personnel, but things have to change for next season. Otherwise, they could be going down. Next game up is Wolves and Burnley. This will be a tough game for both sides. Neither side has had a particularly good season, especially Burnley, because obviously they had a terrible start and they've sort of brought that back a bit, but now they're kind of in the relegation battle. But at the same time, they're not, because a lot of sides in the relegation zone are 
playing off at the moment or getting terrible results. I think this will be a close game. Either side can win it. I think it will be a 1-1 draw. Next game up is Leeds and Man United. This is probably the biggest game of the week. Obviously there is the League Cup uh, this weekend as well, but I think this game is bigger. Leeds have been playing well recently. They've been getting a lot of decent results against Liverpool. And they managed to beat Man City somehow with 10 men. I still don't know how they managed to do it, but you know that was exceptional. And Man United have been tracking along nicely. They've been disposing of you know pretty much every team that gets in their way. And I think it'll be the same with this game. I think it'll be a 3-1 win to United. Next game up is Aston Villa and West Brom. This is a massive game for West Brom. I think for Aston Villa as well because I think they could actually make a European spot. So they'll be wanting to win this. But I think for West Brom, this is a bigger game for them because they could stay up in the Premier League. And I think they could actually win it. I think it'll be a 2-1 win to West Brom. Next game up is Leicester and Crystal Palace. This is another tough game for both sides. I think Crystal Palace, they've had a poor season as well. They're a team that, you know, obviously you'd like to sit back, you know, and try to hit teams on the break, which hasn't happened much this season because obviously Wilfred Zaha has been injured for a lot of the season. So he's been a key part in the way they play and because he's been injured. They haven't been able to, you know, execute their game plan, uh, you know, that well. And with Leicester, it seems that what happened towards the end of last season is happening again. It looks like injuries are catching up with them. And it looks like right now they're out of form. So they're really struggling to get across the finish line. I think they still will just make the top four, but it's going to be a really close one. And for this match, I think it'll be a 1-1 draw. And that's about it.